Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you two simple Easter slash spring DIYs. Everything that you see in the video was very inexpensive. Some items from Dollar Tree, Walmart, and the Dollar General. So I'm going to show you first what I'm going to do with this bunny. I used this leftover roll from some deco mesh that I'd used during the holiday season. And also these wood shims are those same wood shims that I used in a couple of other videos if you want to check that out. And also let's start with the bunny. Bunny. So I want to talk to you a little bit about how I use all the pieces of this bunny when I buy inexpensive items like this I really do try to get the best bang for my single buck by using every single piece of it just in a different way so I'm even going to use these little strips that I'm taking off right now and taking out the staples from this was very easy no special tools were required at all. So I'm not gonna keep it turned over and do something with this from the back. I'm actually gonna sand the front. So I'm gonna do that a little bit later. But the first thing I'm gonna sand is gonna be the bunny's nose. I didn't want it orange. I wanted to soften it up just a bit. So I'm gonna sand off most of the orange from the nose and then I'm gonna go in with pink. Sanding this was definitely a good idea and the pink worked out very well. This is a very light, light pink called ballet pink. Now I'm just going to go in where I kind of messed up the line on his nose a bit with a sharpie and that was it. I just took my time to make sure it was straight. So now I'm just going to mention real quick that I did paint those off camera. Just simple white chalk paint, nothing special there. So the first thing I wanted to do was get rid of the glitter and sand down this carrot as much as possible. I didn't do the easier thing, which would have been to just turn it over and paint it from the back using the brown cardboard piece of it. I really did want to keep the green from the leafy part of the carrot and I'm happy that I did. I did go in with this truffle colored chalk paint. It's the Waverly brand as well. And I did end up using two coats because when I did the first coat, you could still see the happy and the Easter coming through on both of the carrots but after that second coat it was pretty much fully covered. I think a third coat would have done it but after two coats I was still very happy with the way that this turned out. And of course I did paint both of these exactly the same way and I'm going to scoot that to the side while I start to take off some of the jute twine that I'm going to add to my roll. So while my carrot dries I get everything prepped to add the jute to my scrap roll and again this is just a roll that I had left over from a deco mesh that I used on my Christmas tree. So I really do try to recycle anything that's made out of cardboard especially if that cardboard is sturdy. So so I glued the twine on the inside first and then glued it on the outside and just kind of rolled it and added it on there. I didn't even add any hot glue through the process. I wrapped it until I was done and then I added a piece of hot glue when I got at the end and that was it. So now I'm getting my carrot now that it's dried and I'm going to add a very thin piece of jute to it and bring it around and then at the end you're going to see how I tied a knot to put back those pieces that were on the back of the carrots that kept them together. And then here I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue and I like to secure my jute or anything that I glue to the back with a piece of scrap cardboard. And this just came from something that I had lying around, nothing special. But here you go, here's the knotted pieces of that ribbon on the back, I love it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I assemble my wood shim pieces here. So all I'm doing is I'm making sure not to put the thin pieces and thick pieces together. So I line them up where the thin and thick pieces are glued together as opposed to thick and thick and then thin and thin, if that makes sense. The fantastic thing about this is that these wood shims and that hot glue work together so well. I'm still using Gorilla Hot Glue and almost immediately this stuff dries and it adheres incredibly well. So all I do here is line my pieces up on the side and now I'm going to glue my cross piece from boards to boards using hot glue, nothing else.
The next piece that I'm gonna bring in is gonna be on the very bottom. And this is where I level it off where I just kind of wiggle the legs just a little bit, use a bit of hot glue and add that in. I made a really simple ribbon out of the jute, centered my bunny, and now I'm gonna take my ribbon and put it through the loop that was already on the bunny, and I'm gonna secure that ribbon to the centerpiece there, and also make sure that I slide it through there so that the hanging piece of jute here is also secured, and then that way I know my bunny is not gonna fall off. The great thing about this bunny is that while it's incredibly cute and well put together, it's very light. So I could hang it from those pieces without a problem. I'm just right now trying to make sure that I like the placement of my carrots before I glue them down. And I do. I add the glue directly to the wood because I do move the carrot a little bit. So I didn't want to add it to the carrot and risk hot glue strings being everywhere because that drives me crazy. So I just secure it and hold it there in place and again, it dries almost immediately. And this is it, and I'll show you guys at the end of the video how it stands up. It came out cute. So now I'm gonna move on to my little egg project here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna paint these. And today I'm using a new color. This is called Pool Blue. And I went with this blue because I ended up putting this egg flower type of arrangement in my kitchen breakfast area. And my kitchen is kind of composed of like a lot of different blues and grays. And this came out so cute. So here I'm just painting on that chalk paint. This is also the Waverly brand as well with an old foam brush that I had. It's clean, but it's old. And then I just kind of go in with another paintbrush where some of the paint kind of seeped through because I didn't want it to kind of clump up. This jar actually came from a project from Valentine's Day. So now I'm just using my white Waverly chalk paint and painting the jar. I do end up painting the bottom, but that's a gigantic waste of time and paint. Don't do that because I hot glued it anyway. So after the eggs dry, they're ready to be assembled. So I assembled the little one and I assembled the big one. I used a scrap piece of wood to secure these two just with a little bit of hot glue and I threw in some flowers from Dollar Tree. That scrap piece of wood actually came from a farmhouse truck that I didn't use and I recycled that piece from a Valentine's Day video. And also here's the bunny. Look how cute he came out. I absolutely love these two pieces. Again, thank you so so much for watching guys. I hope this inspired you. Y'all have a great day. Bye y'all.